Previously on Fallout New Vegas. While helping out the Sorrows, Courier 6 came to find that they too were aware of the grim messages left behind in the nearby caves. In fact, they came to revere the troubled man who wrote them. During their time traveling together, Wake and Cloud told the Courier that she had a family who she wanted to know were still safe and alive. Upon investigating the situation, Daniel revealed that although his intentions were good, he'd lied to Cloud and that her husband had perished. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Here we are at the, uh, not the Sorrows Camp, but the Dead Horses? Jeez, is that, is, is that what they were called? The Dead? No, it wasn't Dead Horses, was it? Jeez, were the horses dead? They... Oh, yeah. wow, it was dead horses. Wow, there goes the memory, right? Anyway, we're here with um, Waking Cloud. You know how I said, hey, maybe we'll get Fowl's truck. Fuck, where did he even go? He was just right here. I got this truck. Oh, here he is. But uh, you know how I said, hey, I was we're probably going to come back and have him uh, have Fowl's truck with us instead. Look, he's having a bit of trouble right there. And uh, because you know what? He probably isn't going to mind us going in these taboo places like Waking Cloud is. Well, when I came over here in between videos, by the way, in between videos, totally... Stowed away some items, uh, sold some shit off to, uh, old what's-his-butt. Oh, and by the way, turns out you can totally put poison on these tomahawks. Thank you very much, uh, uh, gosh, I can't remember who it was, wh which of the two of you, <laughs> but, uh, the two frequent commenters. But, uh, nonetheless, thank you very much for letting me know about, you can actually put some, uh, poison on this shit. So let's, yeah, look at this shit. Oh, man, look, there's even a Chivo for doing it. All right, dope. Anyway, Falls Chalk. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Right. And he doesn't come with you, but you can ask him about this. And I thought, hmm, well, this is definitely something we should uh, wait and do when I'm recording. So let's do it. What's with, th what's with this obsession you seem to have with civilization? <laughs> Dude, he loves Civ. Sid Meier hit me up. Damn. Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. Hmm. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. Hey, we know someone what is like that? that, I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people. Who is gave this him the food same guy? And shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. Holy shit! Oh look! I know that guy! I got him a job! Dude, follows Chalk, I met that fucking guy! Oh my god, that's incredible! A job as a singer? Then it really is true. Yeah! Uh, what does Joshua think of all this? I, um... I haven't told him yet. Never had the Groans. The Groans? Really? Maybe I could talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Huh. Yeah, let's see. Can we ask him more? What can I tell you? Oh shit, he's got another quest for us. Huh. Civilized man's burden. Alright. Why is it so important that we fi look talk to Joshua Graham about Falls Chalk's desire to see civilization? Huh? I thought he would only have one thing: the the Big Horner quest, right? All right, I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Go see ya. with fortune, friend. Thanks. My gosh, old Falls Chalk. Jeez, he met the the freaking uh, the drifter guy who gave us that annoying gun. Gosh, I wonder if he knew about his stupid gun that like plays a terrible song non-stop whenever he pulls it out. Maybe that's why Follows Chalk got the fuck away from that guy. He was like, oh, his voice is so beautiful and his mustache is so alluring and his guitar skills, oh my god, off the fucking charts. But little did he know the dark taint, the dark curse that the lonesome drifter, the lone mustachio drifter man carried with him. Fuck! What the fuck? Dude, I was just around here scoping out to make sure that they weren't coming around. But once you know it, hot damn. There's actually some big- Oh my god, I forgot I was wearing such a sweet, dope-ass outfit. Oh god, look out! Waking Cloud! Oh, there we go! Nice! Tomahawked you. Fuck! 
Uh, let's see, do we have a... Um, hmm, <laughs> what do you usually do in a situation like this? Huh? Just whip out the, the revolver! Waking Cloud, save me! Oh, oh my gosh, Big Horner, I'm sorry. Good thing we didn't have False Chalk here to see that. Whew, jeez. Let's see, what all do we have here? Some Yao Guai meat? Look, we've got a hundred units of weight at the ready. Ready for us to haul away more garbage, as I fucking love to do. My god, I love garbage! Should start like a dump. Oh my gosh. Just have a whole bunch of dumps everywhere. Good lord. That was something I, I like to do in those uh, city builder games. You know, your Sim City, your Skitty, your Skitty Skylines. Your City Skylines. We what pass like the fuck was that? <laughs> Waking Cloud, was that you? Were you just having some, like, rapturous farts? Waking Cloud, what's up? Do you have anything to Cut say? To be you. Oh, no. Look. She's really Klaatu Varadu neck duty over here. It's, that, that's vaguely offensive. <laughs> that's vaguely offensive. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, Waking Cloud. I'm sorry. I didn't, <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's all I wanted to know for now. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. All right. Let's see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> She's not going to, like, die or something, is she? Jeez. <laughs> all right. Woo. But yeah, in those uh, city builder games, man, love to build up. Just, like, have a one stupid city that's just polluted to hell. Because, you know, usually it's, like, the long-term goal is like, hey, let's make a nice city that hardly has any pollution at all in it. It's very beautiful. But me, uh, first off, I like to do an experimental city. And that's where, hey, you've got a big city and you just line it with garbage. Just grab garbage. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. A flying anus beast. Speaking of dumps. Look at that. Are there any others? Nope. Look at that, using the vats to detect. Always why, um, ironically, it's sometimes a little bit less scary uh, playing the, these uh, Fallout games. At least the more modern ones, because you can just vats away. If you can't see what's coming at you and you're like, Oh god, is some foul knave going to pop out of the uh, the wilderness, out of the floor, and, and then scream at me? No, you could just spam vats. And man, even easier in Fallout 4 how vats actually targets the, uh, the mount- the landmines. Which, you know, I think is maybe not a good idea. I don't know. Maybe not a good one. Let's see. Oh, look. There's another one. Almost missed it. Wow. It's pretty fucking durable. It's gotta be said. Alright. Let's pop on up here. Oh, look. This actually has- a OH! WHAT THE FUCK?! Oh! Jeez, Waking Cloud, you're making a lot of strange-ass noises, and it's freaking me out a Oh, God. Look at that. Somehow we got- we missed it, probably because we were crouched. Whew, it just flew right over our damn head. Alright. Look, there's another one here. Man, this one's really hard to see. Gosh, I hate these twigs. Good God, man. Let's see, let's pop this sucker open. Let's see what's behind here. What are we even in here looking for? Before I forget, we're looking for, uh, is this the one where we're looking for the map? Yeah. Find a map of the Grand Staircase region. Alright. Good to have a little refresher. Fuck's sake. Is there, like, a bomb here or something? Waking Cloud, are you sure you don't want to go first and, like, disarm everything for me? I mean, that'd be pretty fucking helpful. You could just, like, reach in there with your Hulk hand, just sort of set off all the traps. Just reach inside this entire room, and your Hulk hand just takes up the entire thing and disarms all of the traps. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? A cleaver, a pot. Hopefully that's a cooking pot and not like a piss and shit pot. Oh, this is definitely the piss and shit pot. <gasps> do you think this these are his remains? No, probably not. It's probably some other poor sap who died along the way in his journeys. Good lord. Let's see. We definitely need to grab these. Jesus, Waking Cloud, what are you, <laughs> what are you even doing? Come on! When you want some food, I can cook you something up. You want me to cook something up for you? I can make some anti-venom. Oh, do you want some drugs? Waking Cloud, do you want some drugs? Oh, yeah. Here, let's make some slasher while we're here. Slasher, very good. We haven't had to make much use of it recently. We're getting pretty damn powerful, huh? Let's see. Scrap metal, very good. Definitely need that shit. Let's see. Fishing battery, no thanks. Cherry bomb, sure. 
They weigh like nothing, probably literally nothing, if I remember correctly. Didn't even look at what I was grabbing. Got some scrap metal there. Let's see. I think that's everything out here. Is there something up top there? No. Alright, fair enough. Is there like a bomb up in here? Is there gonna be a bomb? Let's see. Quick save. Oh, no, it looks clear. This is the last one, isn't it? This is the absolute very freaking last, um... Who's a what's it? Yeah, look, we got the Chivo. Or at least the sound effect, yeah, and the XP. Bam! Nice. See, a bunch of good stuff in here. Grand Staircase Map Holotape. Alright. Some pure water. Look, we got another Chivo for just doing a lot of challenges. Cool. Oh, and that instantly completed the quest. Alright, we didn't even have to go turn it in. Bunch of, uh... Hmm. Electro shit. This probably isn't the last one that we were supposed to encounter, though, right? Because, um... You notice that? That's fucking cool as hell, by the way. You notice how... At each of these, there's been a bunch of drained energy uh, cells and stuff. And presumably at the last one, or at least the previous one that we went to, that had his cool-ass outfit that we have now grabbed and we're using. It's pretty weird that, you know, may maybe... Hmm, what do you think they think of us going around in this guy's outfit? I mean, I guess they don't know whose it is, but that seems also, once again, pretty uh, uh, culturally <laughs> not very sensitive, you know? <laughs> Just going around in, uh, like, the person who they maybe worship? His outfit? I don't know. <laughs> For, yeah. Forgive me, mama. Forgive me, mama. <laughs> that should be my new motto. Forgive me, mama. But nonetheless, gosh, going back. Holy shit, on about a thousand tangents here. The, uh, the drained MF cells. In the last one, we saw that broken, uh, laser rifle. So, isn't that pretty cool? It, like, it, it presumes, like, hey, these are probably ones that he used up. And we finally found his broken-ass gun. Pretty dope. All right, let's read this old terminal. Last one. The year 2108. August 22nd. Ten sets of tracks, half mile northeast of canyon entrance. Barefoot? August 23rd. Saw them through scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dementia, maybe. August 24th. I'm not crazy. They're real. Damn, they are real. Rushed me the moment they saw me, snarling like animals. They look like corpses, but don't smell rotted. I'll be putting them out of their misery. I'm doing for them what I never could for myself. September 3rd, the last of them, all gone. 2113. Get some good karma, probably by wiping out those ghouls, presumably is what they were. February 5th, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur. Happy birthday to me. Oh, he became dinky. Happy 60th. Wow, 60. Oh my gosh. I, I knew that he was, he alluded to in his previous ones that he was a little aged. I thought maybe like, um, going on 50, but 60. Jeez. What do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey and a 12 gauge slug through the roof of the mouth. Whew. Come now. What do I have to do to prove myself? I've lived long enough. I'm a shriveled old man. White beard. Seen enough sunrises and sunsets. Saw the sunset. Been hanging on through the long night. 36 years now. Ridiculous. Not kidding myself into thinking there's anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex. Sylvie and Michael who could have been. Thoughts of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye Zion. February 6th. Fucking didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. Damn. Maybe this is the last one. I don't know. It sounds that way, doesn't it? April 25th. 24 of them. Half boys, half girls. Youngest is 8, maybe. Oldest, 13 to 14. Dirty and scrawny. Been on foot a long time. Children's Crusade. Stuck camp on nearly the same struck camp on nearly the same spot as Los Mexicanos. Thirty years and a lifetime ago. I've spent two nights listening to them. English literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. They escaped someplace called the school, but can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell him to stop or the principal will get you. Principal better not show up. 
or I'll blow his fucking head or his damn head off. <laughs> I can still shoot straight. Huh. All right. Yeah, 2123. Was that the last one? Let's see. Wow, yeah. Huh. Jeez, I can't believe he made it to 60. Well, that's a little sad. If this is the last one, I feel like I want more more to the story. Damn. What a cool ass tale. I wonder if um it, these all intentionally unlock within a set um sort of uh, period like do, like no matter which one you go to the term the order in which you find them determines um, how they appear or maybe we just got relatively lucky or hey maybe the design just secretly kind of worked out that way all right let's see anything else up in here that we should take uh, I think we got it all all right dope let us rest up for an hour just in case we've got some broken ass limbs but hang on what time is it yeah, let's rest up until it's light out. Let's at least go, like, uh... Eight hours. That'll be just about daybreak, right? Good time to go on an adventure. Speaking of which, we should probably do, um, this quest for Old Fallas Chalk before we forget about it. Jeez. Let's see here. Uh, Civilized Man's Burden. Talk to Joshua Graham about Fallas Chalk's desire to see civilization. Speaking of Joshua Graham and going to find him... My god, when I went to go sell off shit... Wait, did we actually explore all of this cave? No, there's... There could be a little bit over here. But, uh, when, in between videos, when I went to go find him... Dude was not at, um... At the, uh... The usual cave where he dwells. His gun cave. His own daddy cave. Uh, he was actually... Remember when we saw him uh, at the uh, watery area where the sorrows hang out? I was like, oh man, is this a hallucination? Is he actually... Whoa! Is he actually real here? Turns out, that was really him. He really was, he really did just show up and start spouting off some wild shit. Whoa, look at this. There's a secret treasure trove up here. What the hell? Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, it took me forever to finally remember where the hell he was and go back there and sell some shit to him. Good God. All right, but uh, geez, look at all this. Awesome. Gosh, I hope there's not like another bomb up here. Bear trap. Wait, is this one? Yeah, look at that. Or these... I don't know what really they're gonna do here on the sides, but... I don't know. Shit, I'm not some sort of, like, master trapper, huh? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Got some more scrap. Let's see. Anything else over here? A whole bunch of this fungus. As it turns out, this fungus is heavy as shit, by the way. It's one unit of weight per fungus. These are... These fungus... This fungi must be, like... I don't know, like... Made out of lead... Good God. Got some more shit. Explosives. Grenade. Granada Bashla. Let's see. Ammunition. 45. Dope! Alright! Oh, look. What is this? Oh, it's a wrench. Blended in with the ground. Oh, look! A duffel bag. Also blended in. Morning Glory's cash key. What? Did we have to... Oh! Remember... Yeah, the, the doorway. Huh. You found a key to the... Door in Morning Glory Cave. Alright. Yeah. A Desperado cowboy hat. Hey, maybe she wants a... Waking Cloud, do you want a new cowboy hat? Do you li not like the, uh... The sort of weaved one? Probably hurts a little bit on your head after a while. It starts chafing or something like that. Scratchy. Let's get her, like, a nice cloth one. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Let's see. Anything else over here? Alright, here we go. Let's see. If something of mine will help you, take it. I um, hope let's you would see. do the Desperado. same thing. There we go. I'll take that one back. Oh, look at that. You're my favorite deputy. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Heading on out. Yeah. Looks like we got it all full ass clear. Jeez. Look at fucking Waking Cloud. Damn. She's so fucking excited to have this cool ass hat on. She fucking loves it. Honestly, look at her. She's jamming out. There's a snake in my boot. Somebody poisoned the water hole. Oh, God. <laughs> That is disgusting. Look at this gross ass thing. And you cannot really lift it. It's so heavy. I tried to pick up the head. It must weigh like 500 pounds. 500 pound bear head. Good lord. Alright. Let's fast travel on up here. Talk to old uh, Joshua Graham again about uh, Follows Chalk and this mustachioed guitarist singer who has uh, honestly put a spell on him.
He's put a, a spell of uh, mysticism and and mustaches. Let's see. Graham, what's Welcome up? Welcome back. What can I do for you? Follows Chalk. Seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. Oh, right. Yeah, I've also for forgot. Good thing we came back. But uh, when I went to trade, he also had this line. I didn't click on it, obviously. Uh, Follows Chalk seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? Hmm. You know, that means I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? Huh. Okay. Fine by me. I prefer to wil the wilderness. Yeah, um... I mean, let's just hum. I'm definitely going to encourage him to leave because he seems to want to. I think Joshua Graham seems okay with that, though. Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. Just not from me. Huh. Fair enough, Josh. Jeez. Tell Follows Chalk your opinion of civilization. Well, Follows Chalk, let me tell you. They have things like the autumn bomb. <laughs> so, I think I'll stay where I am. <laughs> Fuck me. What do you know of Salt Upon Wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. Hmm. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it. With that spear of his. Oh, Muatra? He's fashioned Word. himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. Okay. Huh. Well, can I ask you some personal questions? It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Oh shit, are we about to get an info dump? Oh yeah. Oh shit, look. Speech 70. Huh. I mean, if we fail it, he's not gonna get pissed at us, is he? Let's see. Were you always with the New Canaanites? I was born in Ogden, what people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all new Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Mm, and that was... Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. Hmm. Uh, was one of those men Caesar? No, not then. Back then he was just Edward. Smart man. Young, but we all were. We thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. We did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually... I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up. Because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. The rest is history. Assuming Edward hasn't changed it. Huh. How did you end up as Caesar's legate? This way lies the path to hell. Ed... Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Hmm. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. Ooh, that is a good line. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. Truly the greatest fall. Yeah. How did you survive? Ooh, now this. This line I've heard before. This is about to be a real good line, huh? I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left, never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them, but I must try. Hmm. All right. 
Let's see, does he did he refresh his trading thing? No, still at zero. Actually, I um I got a lot out of him because I used um his repair functionality to repair up some of my garbage, and that gave him a whole bunch more money. God be with you. All right, cool. Well, geez, let's see. Let's let's go talk to Falls Chalk again, I suppose. Yeah, head on back here, Dead Horses Camp. I wonder if the White Legs have a camp here that we'll find. I don't know. Definitely possible. All right, Falls Chalk. Let me tell you all about all this what shit. What can I tell you? I talked to Joshua Graham about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea, and that I should give you advice. A lie. That it's a den of corruption and vice, and the dead horse's way of living is better. That a man must follow his heart, no matter where it leads him. Now, let's tell him the truth. He said that? Well... I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? You should stay here with your people. You have a duty to them. Civilization isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. You should go see it for yourself. Yeah, I definitely agree with this. If you want to do it, Files Chalk, if you really want to do it, do it, man. I'm all for it. Really? You think so? Whew, I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Oh, that's it. All right, dope. Sure. Man, and then watch. <laughs> Several hours later, we find poor Files Chalk dead in the middle of the road. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. Good Lord. I feel like we maybe have made a grave error here. But hey, I feel I feel good about it. All right, should we go fight some uh, some Yao Guai? I think that's probably a good and fun idea. Let's see. Oh, look, there's some undiscovered locations we can go through here just as well. Maybe that's exactly what we should do too. Yeah. All right, let's head on over here to the old Rockville Bridge, and along the way we'll go into an ant hole. Man, remember when they were talking about ants earlier, and we were like, where are these ants? Well, hey, when you know it. Apparently, this is for ants, not for, um, well, whatever they are, the, um, the Cazadors or whatever. Um, oh, what the fuck? Where did they come from? Oh, my God. I could, oh, shit. Did I just shoot? Oh, my God. I'm so fucking sorry. I thought you were, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I shot you, like, in the head. Waking Cloud, don't tell anyone about what what just happened here. Oh, good lord. I'll take another shish kebab, though, for sure. <laughs> Man, we lost his, um, his freaking, what do you call it, though? His, uh, tomahawk. Would have loved to have gotten a tomahawk. Man, dude just popped out from right behind here. Didn't even see him at all. I wonder if these are, like, spawn closets, so to speak? They'll spawn from right out there? I don't know. Man, I was none the fucking wiser, though. All right, let's see. Where is this ant hill at? Oh, it's over the bridge. Okay. Well, luckily, we've been here at this bridge, and we have made it safe and freaking sound, haven't we? Let's see, just making sure we got everything here. Yep. Yeah. All right. Dope. Let's see. Should be up and around here. Doesn't look like I can see much of an ant hill at all, though. Or an ant hole, an ant burrow. Oh, shit. I'll fight you if I must. Gosh, yeah. All of the foliage, actually... Kind of uh, makes it a little difficult to spot things. There we go. I mean, you know, literally we have seen like, um, like the white legs and even some of the dead horses and sorrows. We've seen them like lurking around as they're hunting and shit. But uh, wow, it really does add like, like I mean, not a super significant way to how you play, but it definitely has an impact. Just pretty damn neat. Some banana yucca. All right. Oh shit! Now this looks like a fucked up kind of thing. What is? Shit. Do we actually have a quest to, like, bomb these things? Ooh. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, I guess we can't go inside of no What? What? Who? Are you okay? Who was it? Oh, it's a big old dude. Ooh! Wow, is that one even bigger? I don't know. 
I mean, we took care of it. Alright. Got some four legs. Alright, remember we had that thing that we could blow shit up with, right? Let's see. Mining detonator. How do we use this? I don't know. We don't have any sort of, like, mining bombs, do we? No. I don't know, maybe that'll come up later. Here, should we just, like, try and Geralt of Rivia this thing? Oh, there you go! Oh, it didn't go in! Oh my god, I'm sorry! <laughs> Waking Cloud, oh my god, I'm... Friendly firing the shit out of everyone today. <laughs> My god. Alright. Let's see. Is there actually, like, an entrance to this? Or is... Yeah, I think that's just it. Just hanging out over there. Alright. That's fine. Let's see. There is a... Yeah. Virgin, virgin Fork Plate Campground? Yeah. Got a little pooper here. Nice. Some old screwed up cars. Some sort of grass that's making it very difficult to walk through. Oh my god, there was a rat in it? Alright, fuck me. Was there really a rat there the whole damn time? I just didn't even notice it. Look at this, we're taking cover behind the pooper. Get this rat in its glowing ass eye head. I didn't even see that fucking rat, I was just like walking into it the whole damn time. Shit, where the fuck did they go? Oh my god! I feel like I'm in Predator. Jeez, what a fucking gun they've got. Holy shit! Oh my god! The riot shotgun is really fucking doing a number on everybody. Boom! Gotcha! Forgive me, mama! Oh god, did you hear the... <laughs> the fucking speedy upping? This on, uh, Waking Cloud's voice? There we go. Man, fucking riot shotgun blew that poor dude's head clean off. Speaking of which, man, blew him away, even. Where'd you go? Just wanna, you know, loot your your corpse. There we go. Let's see. Jalapeno. Silver Sting! Huh. Got some throwing spears, though. Not as fun as, um... The alternative, though. The tomahawks. But look, we may have a chance to use it up here, though. Let's see. Throwing spear. Let's put some of this, uh... Yeah, here we go. Look, this poison even makes you stupid. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. Where are y'all at? Watch it just be a gecko. Oh, it is just a gecko. Still, let's fire away. Let's see. Can we actually hit it from back here? Yeah. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Bam! Oh, my God. These hardly do anything. Oh, this isn't... Oh, there we go. Nice. The crit's always coming in at a crucial time. Boom. Nice. You know, the poison doesn't really have that much of a chance to do its magic, does it? All right, here we go. Let's see, can we just like f eyeball this one? Oh shit! Ha! Nailed him! Dope! But well, we did completely waste the poison. It's got to be said. <laughs> Pour one out for the old uh, Dark Detira. All right, grab some of these pods. Love a pod. Let's see. What all is around here? Let's whip up the map. Okay, so this is kind of like a dead end area over here until it loops back up and around to where we gotta go. Grab some of these. Some horse nettle. Oh, look. We finally discovered it, although we were, like, walking all over the place here. Finally, we have technically uncovered its secrets. Let's sleep for an hour, heal up. There we go. Suitcase with some sexy sleepwear. Man. Jeez, Waking Cloud, do you want some sexy sleepwear? I don't if know. Something of let's mine let's will put help it on offer for it. I hope you would do the same for me. Let's see. Do you like that? No, she fucking hates it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's see, anything else up in here? Uh, just some pre-war money. Let's see. What is it? What is that? Oh, it must be, like, something that you plug into, like, access electricity to power it up or something. Alright. Let's see, anything else worthwhile around here? Doesn't seem like it. Surprisingly, not much in this little, uh, camp. I mean, I guess the other ones didn't really have much either. Let's see, we could whip up some of these. Let's do it. Those are always nice. Party time mentats. Mmm. Good stuff. More sexy sleepwear. I don't know what I would do with all of it, though. Alright. Got an eyeball right here. Okay. 
I think we are ready to head on out into this little uh, canyon area. I mean, a canyon within a canyon, so to speak, I guess. Optional. Kill the Yaogwai at Pine Creek. Collapse the Yaogwai Cave. Deal with the Yaogwai at Pine Creek. All right. Cool. Looks like it's going to be a major-ass Yaogwai showdown. Fair enough. This seems like the place where we're going to end up using our... Uh... Oh my god. There's a bunch of dead people here. Did we do this? No. I don't know. Maybe this, they're supposed to be here. This is a sign of like... Uh-oh. Dangerous wildlife ahead. Got a weapon on him. Dark Datura. Rebar Club. I don't know. Maybe we did kill these people. Is this from when we came around the other way? Remember we came around some back... Whoa! <laughs> we came around some back area? This might have been what we saw previously. Yeah, remember? We, we knocked out like a quick quest real fast. Yeah, I think this is exactly it. I think that was absolutely our doing. Let's see, should we gun down this poor Bighorner? I don't know, but we should definitely gun down this fucking rat. Bam. You know what? Bighorner 2, you gotta go. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Alright. Nailed him! Look at that big-ass painting up there. How'd they even manage that? I don't know. Giant rat meat. Bighorner meat. No oh, thanks. I'll take some flowers, though, for sure. There we go. Nice. Get some white horse nettle. Oop. There we go. Wait, that is not white horse nettle at all. That is actually sacred detura root. Damn. Alright. Shit, is that Yaogwai all the way over there? Is that one? I can't tell if that's a Yaogwai or like a strangely positioned, uh... Bighorner. That is definitely a Yaogwai. Bam. There you go. Take it. Nailed him! Holy shit, long shot Lyle strikes again. Eat my ass. Oh, look. East Fork Road. Gosh. Reminds me of when we were heading to, uh... Novak or whatever out in Nipton. We got ambushed in that canyon. Maybe here we'll also get ambushed by a whole bunch no of Yaogwai. They'll just be up there with their, like, machine guns starting to rain down hell on us. These Yaogwai just up there screaming like... Yaogwai. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. A nest? Can they... Oh, do you hear that? You can kind of hear one, like, snarling at us. Big deal, I've killed worse. We'd better get to work, then. What do you propose? Yeah, what do you propose? Fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect. Unless you are a truly mighty warrior. Oh, I'm a mighty, mighty man. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. Yeah, how would we do that? Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanites' fire clay? That could easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Ooh, I like fire Look clay. Look around and see if you can find a cave nearby. All it right. may prove easier than slaying the beasts. Yeah. Uh, we'd better get... Let, let's not be condescending here. Let's be nice. We'd better get to work, then. I stand with you. All right. Awesome. Oh, shit. Where are you going? I thought you stood with me. Uh, is there actually... Waking Cloud, what the fuck is going on here? Is there, like, a Yaogwai inside of the ground burrowing around? Oh, shit, I'm fucking scared now. Waking Cloud, you gotta fucking protect me. I'm scared as shit right now. I think there's, like, a ground-based Yaogwai. Oh, God, it's, like, burrowing under the ground. This is, like, Tremors. All those shitty old movies. But they were so... They were like a good kind of shitty, honestly. Whew! Got him. But there's definitely another ground Yaogwai. You can hear it burrowing around. Like some sort of horrific miscreant. Oh, shit! Yeah, there it is! Yeah, I see it, Waking Cloud! I see it! It's coming out to get me! <gasps> Waking Cloud, you're going fucking buck wild! Oh, my God! See, we just have to time our shot just right when it pokes out. It's ready to jam. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Waking Cloud, I think it's kind of down there. Did we get it? Oh! Okay, we definitely can't get it. Alright, it's just stuck there. Waking Cloud, don't worry about that one. It happens all the time. It's a wild, wild wasteland out here. Uh, just don't worry about it at all. Let's see. Should we deal with these things first? I don't know. Kill the Yaogwai at Pine Creek. Collapse the Yaogwai cave. Well, let's, what, let's at least deal with the cave first. Maybe we can get two birds with one bomb. Let's see. I don't know if you've ever gone bird watching or bird hunting. 
But you know what? If you ever go bird hunting, a good way to kill birds is with bombs. Just start throwing bombs up in the air. You know, when you're... What the fuck? I thought that was a white leg up there, scoping us out. But, uh, you know, when you're a little kid and sometimes you're, you're like, Oh, yeah, let's play the, the really great game called throwing rocks up into the sky and trying not to hit yourself on the fucking head and give yourself a concussion and brain damage. <laughs> One of my faves. Jeez. Let's see. Anything else out here? No, I don't see them. But I can detect them on my dude dar. I'm not picking any of them up, even though this is a super caution zone. This is their, like, bare den. Waking Cloud, I'm not actually that afraid of these Yaogwai right now, because you know what? We fought the boss one. The flaming one from Dragon Age? Waking Cloud, I don't know if you've ever played Dragon Age. The first one was pretty good. Second one, not so much. Third one... It gets more crap than it deserves, probably. Let's see. Ugh. What's going on here? A bunch of... bunch of dead bodies. Or skeletons, I should say. Alright. Let's slowly creep on over here. Look, we're no longer in danger. We're not in caution mode or detected mode. If there is a Yao Guai, it's about to get Yao gutted. <laughs> Let's see. Is it down here? I can pretty much assume that there's not going to be any traps in here, right? I mean, Jesus, I was joking about the Yao Guai having machine guns and shit, raining down lead fury and lead storms down on me. But, uh, man, if Yao Guai start setting up traps, whew, man, that's the end. That's, that's the end of civilization as we know it. Is this a bomb spot? What the fuck? Are they fucking in here? Hey, Waking Cloud, check it out. You ever see two Yao Guai fuck? <laughs> Man, we're in for a fucking treat today. Yeah, we're gonna start seeing him making some babies. <laughs> yeah, this is the Yao Guai Den. You can really hear him going at it. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't get much action out here. Let me tell you about a place I know about Waking Cloud. It's called the Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> we're about to wrangle us up a fucking Yao Guai or two. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Waking Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve this. <laughs> what is that? Is that a bomb? Mining explosives? Waking cloud! These fucking Yao Guai are ridiculous. Oh, no, wait, we placed it. <laughs> Never mind, waking cloud. Never mind. These Yao Guai aren't laying bombs at all. I'm just dumb. I'm just very dumb. Ooh, a skull. That's how you know there's gonna be trouble. Uh oh. Let's see, let's go for a nice little swim here. Gosh, I would never do this in real life. Gosh, just going and exploring a cave full of mutant bears, and then like, oh, the part of the cave is underwater. Bear go swim. Bear go for a swim to explore the rest of it. My god, you think I am some kind of spelunker? Never go swimming in a freaking cave. Good lord. Who knows what the hell could happen? Let's see. Can we loop around over here? Oh, look. More bomb spots. Yeah, activate it. I thought when it said activate, it meant, like, grab one up. But no, really, you're just... Look. Waking Cloud, I don't know if you noticed, there's some Yao Guai blood here. We're hunting the Yao Guai. Look. Back to its foul nest of insane bullshit. Look at them all. Look at them all in there. My God. Let's see. Are they actually very special? No. Other than the fact that they're disgusting as hell and, like, ripped as shit. Gosh, they're, like, more muscle than bear. I Me mean, already, I guess that's kind of how bears work with these ones. My god. Here, I think there's only one way to solve this. And that's with a gigantic fucking bomb. It's quick save. Who even needs these mining bombs? Boom! Oh, nice! Oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh, my god! Waking Cloud, back up! Back up! Oh my god, it almost took me the fuck out! Even wearing my fantastic armor! Of course, maybe that was also the mini nuke blast? I don't know, it all happened so damn fast, it scared the shit out of me, to be frank. Whew. But hey, as a reward for getting scared, we get a level. Let's see, let's consult the handy dandy notebook. Looks like, yep, melee. Here we go. Man, you know, I never played um, New Vegas with all the DLC. Man, you really do not need... Uh, like, hardly jack shit for int, even if, like, 
to max out your character. I mean, you know, I like maxing out stuff. It's kind of fun. I don't, I'm not uh, super big into doing it hardcore. But hey, I like, to, I like to dabble. I like to mess with it a bit. But man, if you have all the DLC, jeez. You get so much. Picking int? Man, maybe that was a mistake at the beginning. Maybe we should have just went with, like, a, a true-ass character. Good lord, unless we had some of those mods to, like, um, alter the difficulty and how things are paced. Oh, shit, look at that. Just the top half of someone. And some random guts. You think this is guts or, like, bloody shits? I've never seen a Yaogwai shit before. Maybe that's what they were doing. They were fucking in here and shitting. Just fucking in their own piles of gut shit. Good god. What a bunch of disgusting freaking bastards. Jeez, look at that. There's like 500 different intestines up in here. Jeez. It's Yaogwai or gross. <laughs> gross! Ew, Yaogwai! <laughs> More like Yao gross. <laughs> Fuck. God. Ugh. Man, we're really right up there in the crotch area, aren't we? My god. Yeah, they are... They're disgusting. <laughs> Let's drink up a bit. Heal up, drink up. Let's see. Did we actually clear them all out? We may have. We're just gonna go fucking buck wild and just start walking, huh? Who gives a damn? I think we got them all. Full clear, baby. We'd be picking them up on the dude dart, wouldn't we? Let's see. Did we get all the things here on our map inside? Yeah, it looks like it. No markers on the ground to say, hey, you better uh, drop some shit down. There we go. I think that's everything. Look at all that. Put down three of them, didn't we? At least. Oh yeah, look, completed. I always forget about that, that the quest thing is going to help us out. Leave the cave and set off the charges with the mining detonator. Alright, don't mind if I do. Oh. I thought that was an exit. But it's actually a little secret back room. Okay. Fair enough. Sure. So there actually was a marker right there, I just thought it was leading outside. Alright, sure, let's do it. Let's head on back to the entrance. Let's fucking consult our map here. Because, jeez, this is kind of a maze. Look, I don't think this actually loops around, does it? No. Yeah, that goes underwater. So we want to go this direction, don't we? Back into the main, uh, Yagwai banging den, right? Oh no, we can't. Shit, we do actually have to go underwater. Listen to me, I'm dumb as hell. Like I said, Waking Cloud, you're traveling with a real damn idiot. I don't know jack shit. I lied on my, my, uh, my license or whatever the hell. My, my courier's license. I'm, I actually only have, like, two int. Let's head on over here. Let's see, head on up this way. Ugh, gosh. I bet this water is just full of, like, Yaogwai piss and shit, and it smells god-awful. I mean, already, this is, like, a horrific, like, grounds for Yaogwai breeding. Jeez. You know, just by default, it just smells god-awful, just like Yaogwai jism everywhere. <laughs> oh, man, that's a... I have painted a picture that I did not want to ever see in my life. <laughs> oh, God. That is foul. That is real fucking foul. Alright, let's let's put some better uh, aid here on our on our bar and try to forget all, about all the horrible things that we've done. Let's just eat some maize. Why the heck not? I was saving it for cast, but you know what? Maize is plentiful enough. It's plentiful enough that we don't really need to concern ourselves, do we? Look at all this. The poison resist on that is through the roof. We haven't really ran into any, like, super poison situations, though. Could eat some raw-ass Yaogwai meat, I guess. Why the hell not? Look, we're going buck wild. Turn it into Yaogwai, eating Yaogwai beef. What do you call it? I mean, I guess it's... Oh, shit, I forgot I had this equipped. No, wait, oh, I just equipped it by default. How far do I need to get away from this? Waking Cloud, do you have any experience with these, uh... Fire clays? Oh, shit! Look, they do not like that I've been inside their base. What the fuck? Is there some, like, white leg up there trying to pelt us with some bullshit? What was that? Waking Cloud, did you see that shit? I think someone's trying to throw some shit down at us. Yeah, look. Is that a person? No, oh, that's a fucking banana yucca. Where the fuck is this asshole? Oh, Waking Cloud, I don't like this at all. What the shit? Alright. Before we forget, let's whip out the, uh... Mining detonator. Boom! Okay. I mean, that <laughs> wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Let's see, should we... Should we go on in there? Let's go on in there. 
Oh, look, because we did the cave, the optional bit, it actually counted for everything. Look, can we go back in and see our handiwork? Wow! Oh my god! Jeez! Alright, jeez, man. Fucking call up Paul Bunyan, or not Paul Bunyan, who's the guy? Fucking uh, John Henry, there we go. Let's see. Oh god. Where the hell is this fucking asshole at? Did they fall down? Oh shit, check it out. Waking Cloud, do you think I can make this fucking sick ass jump? You think I can? Let's see, before we go in any- oh look. Yeah, we should definitely try and do it. Here we go. Oh my god, look at that! Oh jeez, I'm an Assassin's Creed for sure! Jeez, hit me up! Alright, dope! Let's see. Where is this person who threw a fucking tomahawk at us? Honestly, I really want to kill him for more tomahawk action. I want some. Let's see, we can't even pick this thing. Oh, wait. Did you see it? There's like a, a sweet spot here. Nice. The Xander Root sweet spot. Mmm, that sweet, sweet Xander. Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Alright. I'm gonna assume that you're one of the bad ones. Boom. Let's get down here. Waking Cloud, what the fuck are you even doing, dude? <laughs> Man, she's just staring him down. Hot damn. Intimidating as hell. Jeez. Little did we know that uh, Waking Cloud, her dumb stat is apparently charisma. She's going the, uh, <laughs> just doing the intimidation work, debuffing the shit out of him, you know? Getting that hard ass intimidate going on. Shit me. Alright, let's see. I'm guessing you ran out of all your tomahawks, huh? Yeah, well. It was too good to be true, wasn't it? Alright, let's see. Where else should we go? Yeah, we should loop back around and at least explore this Pine Creek Tunnel, right? Go back to the East Fork Bridge. And when next we come back, we'll head on deeper into the- Oh, what the fuck? Are you a bad dude? Yep, a pain maker. Oh, look, he's got some- Oh, you got some tomahawks! God, I hope I learn how to make tomahawks. I love how they fucking look. Alright, let's pop you in your freaking noggin. You idiot. Don't bring a sword to a gunfight! Forgive me, mama! I oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Oh god, I'm sorry, forgive- Also, forgive me, mama. <laughs> Let's see, shish kebab, tomahawk- God, just one! Just one tomahawk! Aw, oh, come on, what a ripoff. Alright, when next we come back, we're heading on deep into this uh, new ass canyon. Hopefully we're gonna find like a stash of 500,000 tomahawks and just have like a- Super tomahawk party. We're just gonna have Waking Cloud carry around like a shitload of tomahawks for us. Look, there's another bear over there. Before I forget, we're going to wipe it out. That way, when next we come back, I don't get scared as hell from this uh, random ass Yaogwai. Look, we're having a hard ass time to even hit it. Look, it looks like our bullets are going right above it. Maybe we should aim down. Yeah. Huh, how about that? Anyway, yeah, when next we come back, we're heading up into Pine Creek. Although we no longer have a quest to go there, shit, I still want to explore it before we forget, especially since it's very uh, off the edge here. Look, very nearby the dotted line. Anyway, till next time, peace!